Graciousness and humility. Those seem to be the antithesis of the pride and scorn that Hollywood has been putting out there for many years now. And I am going to stop with the bashing of Hollywood right there. Because something good has happened. And ladies and gentlemen, I wanted to put a smile on everybody's face with this story. At the Critics' Choice Awards, and I'm not an awards guy at all. I don't like watching the awards. I just I just don't. But Brendan Fraser accepted an award for the Best Actor Honor for The Whale. This makes me so utterly happy to see that Brendan Fraser is receiving such high praise, not only from the critics, but from the fans of Brendan Fraser as well. Through the hard times that he went through and the scarring that he went through, to see him come back with, again, graciousness and humility makes me completely happy. I want to take a minute here to show this clip to you and talk about this. Over here on Twitter, uh, Geeky Sparkles retweeted this, and it's because of Geeky Sparkles from Clownfish TV that I came across this. But... I was in the wilderness, and I probably should have left a trail of breadcrumbs. So, but you found me, and... Um, like all the best directors, you merely just showed me where to go to get to where I needed to be. This right here is amazing. This is absolutely incredible. If you, like a guy like Charlie, who I played in this movie, in any way struggle with Grace obesity and humility, you just feel like you're in a dark sea, I want you to know that if you too can have the strength to just get to your feet and go to the light, good things will happen. Thank you. Good night. Now, ladies and gentlemen, like I said, I'm not much for award shows and I'm not much for actors getting up there and talking about how fantastic they are and actors, well, gallivanting around the screens as they have. And I think that is why this is so refreshing because Brendan Fraser was and still is one of my favorite actors. In fact, my wife and I in the last m month have watched two Brendan Fraser movies because of how much respect we have and how many childhood memories he gave to us. To see a man go up there after everything that he suffered and to see him accept this with grace and humility is something that should be celebrated. You know, to celebrate a celebrity, who would have thought it? but not for simply putting on a fantastic role and embodying a character and doing something amazing, but with his actions as a human. A lot of people said, well, he got up there and cried, stop it. This man was in the dark for a very long time. And it is so refreshing to see that one, hopefully he is out of the darkness, but two, hopefully he can be a little guiding light for those who need it. There's so many bad things to talk about in the world, and I talk about many of them. I do try to stay as positive as I can on this channel. And tonight when looking for something to cover on the channel, I came across this and I thought, you know what? Let's spread the joy and the hopefulness that we all have and those things that make the next day bright and the future beaming for all of us. It's time to let go of hate watching. It's time to let go of, you know, despising the old Hollywood machine. And it is time to stand up on our own two feet and celebrate the things worth celebrating and having the strength to carry ourselves into the future. 
So ladies and gentlemen, hopefully you liked this video and I do hope that you have hope and joy and gratitude and humility in your own life. It's not something easily achieved. I fail at every single one of those things every single day. But the one thing that I can say is I am grateful for all of you and I am utterly humbled that all of you are here. So for those of you out there, I hope this brought just a little smile to your face. And ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for being here. If you would comment down below, that would mean the world to me. And in fact, I dedicate a special live stream every Sunday to the comments on my channel. It's called Sunday Coffee. It's at 11 a.m. Central. And it's where I go when I read all of the comments on all of the videos that I have. Because I feel that if you're here and you're dedicating your time to me, the best I can do is dedicate my time to you. So I hope to see you there on Sunday Coffee. And until next time, cheers, everybody. Thank you all for being here on A Drink With Crazy. If you guys never want to miss a notification for the channel, go down in the link in the description and click that button to follow me and support me over on Locals. It's free to join, but that's where you can support me with money if you so choose. Also, don't forget to click those Rumble and Odyssey links so that way we can get over there and keep that growing. And until next time, cheers, everybody.